Hello and welcome back to the Vocal Booth To Go channel. I'm Brandon and today we're going to be doing a, a bit of a test inside of the Vomo. Uh, one thing I thought about recently is uh, those who might have bought the Vomo might be trying to figure out the one of the better microphones that they can use inside of the booth. Uh, because I know a lot of people who personally bought um, microphones from Blue. Uh, whether it's the Snowball, the Yeti. Uh, I've known some who have used those for podcasts. I've known some who've used them for audio commentaries. And so I thought, all right, well, it would be interesting to do sort of a comparison. Because the thing is, you know, they might have bought one of those, you know, prosumer microphones in like a Best Buy or something like that, then thought, oh, hey, I need my environment to sound better. I'm going to buy a Vomo. But they didn't buy our microphone to go with it, uh, which is the vocal condenser microphone. And that's actually the one that I've been using in the uh, videos that I record inside of the Vomo. So that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to be running a few tests because there's three audio sources um, recording at the moment. So we have the onboard camera audio, which nine times out of 10 is going to be your worst case scenario audio. It might help with syncing later, but rarely are you going to use onboard audio for your final audio unless you know, you're know you out and about somewhere and you're just filming something just as a hobby. Uh, but if you want professional audio, the onboard camera is rarely going to be your friend. It's gotten a lot better over the years, believe me, but it's still not the best. And then obviously we're going to be going to the Blue Snowball as well as the uh, vocal condenser microphone from, uh, from Vocal Booth to go. Um, so yeah, unless stated otherwise on the screen, the audio you're going to be hearing is from the vocal condenser microphone since that is my personal favorite and also I feel the um, most professional of the microphones in the booth at the moment. Just my opinion, but obviously we're going to uh, record all three versions, let you take a listen, and then take it from there. So. What we're going to do is we're going to be going over um, sort of like various uh, vocal warm-ups that uh, actors would use before going on stage, before, you know, reciting lines, what have you, or before filming a movie, or before doing an audiobook, voiceover, what have you. Um, you know, just very basic things. And uh, yeah, so we'll once again compare the onboard microphone, the blue snowball, and the vocal condenser microphone, and uh, take it from there. Red leather, yellow leather. 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 I still sound like I mumble when I say that. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique. New York. Unique 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 New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. 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 Film at 11. So there you have it. There's uh, all three versions uh, that you heard side by side by side. Uh, even though, as I mentioned earlier, if there's no on-screen text, then it is the um, vocal condenser. I did still want to specify that text on screen once we recorded that portion to uh, playback just to avoid any confusion. Uh, but yeah, once again, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, onboard mic on the camera almost always going to be your worst option. I mean, yeah, you can put a microphone on top, but this is the actual built-in microphone inside of the uh, camera. Um, the Blue Snowball still isn't bad if you are still kind of getting your foot in the door. Um, you know, combining that with the Vomo, I feel like definitely makes it sound better than it would be if you just have it sitting on your computer desk or something like that. Um, obviously, once again, as I mentioned earlier, my personal bias, the vocal condenser microphone. Uh, just because it is the highest quality, the most durable, uh, the most professional style of microphone um, amidst, you know, the three options here at the very least. Uh, and also on top of that, 
you have the advantage of the uh, the mixer in between because the blue snowball is going directly from the microphone into the computer via USB. The uh, vocal condenser microphone that I have is going into a Focusrite Scarlett mixer, which then in and of itself is going into uh, USB as well. Um, but I've actually had like really good success using that microphone with uh, international um, collaborations that I've done. I've, I've done a few audio commentaries with people in Hong Kong, and thankfully I've had people say, you know, in the studios over there, oh, it sounds like you're in the room with us. And that's, you know, probably the best compliment that you can get. Now, that being said, everything in this video, I can, uh, I'm gonna add links down below to let you know where you can get them. Obviously, the Vomo is sort of the main purpose of this test, but the vocal condenser microphone, you can also buy directly from us at vocalboothtogo.com. Um, once again, I would, you know, personally recommend that. But once again, if you're just starting off, if you just have a Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti, or something comparable that you bought, you know, at Best Buy, Amazon, what have you, um, you can still get the Vomo to kind of get things, you know, get get the snowball rolling. Ah. Or if you really want to step your game up, I will go for the uh, vocal condenser microphone. Uh, it's come in very handy. Uh, I, I've come a long way from just recording using a, a lavalier microphone, treating it like a standalone microphone. Um, but uh, yeah, as always, if you have uh, further questions about the Vomo, feel free to contact us, you know, either in the comment section or on our social media pages, you know, Instagram, TikTok. We also have YouTube shorts as well. Um, anything like that, you know, give us a call, give us an email. Um, we'll have all the information on screen and, of course, in the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, that covers it for now. So. Uh, once again, um, hopefully this was informative. Hopefully I wasn't rambling too much, but, uh, hey, if I was rambling, it was in good quality. But anyway, uh, I hope you had fun. I hope you found it informative, entertaining, you know, what have you. Um, like I said, if you're just starting off with your microphone options, but you've jumped into the Vomo, you're already making good strides there. Um, if you want, tag us on Instagram, TikTok, what have you, with what you've done with your Vomo and the microphones you have in there. Or even better, if you're also using our uh, vocal condenser microphone, that's even lovelier to see at that point but um but the vomo to begin with i think is a great place for people to jump in and uh yeah hopefully you'll uh, dive down the uh, the rabbit hole of our products our past videos uh everything so yeah if you're new to this channel uh, as they always say like subscribe ring the bell all that fun stuff but uh yeah aside from that uh happy recording <laughs>